So here's how you can reduce your system storage on the iPad. So this is a, kind of a date trick which some people have used in the past. But what you need to do is to check your uh, situation about the storage. Make sure that the system is taking up the amount that is like a lot and that you deemed it to be uh, like too much. So what you need to do is to close your apps. But there is one little step in between. So go to your iPad settings. Entirely at the bottom we have the apps and go to messages and part of the messages i want you to just select the message history to be forever because we are going to be changing the time and i don't want you to just lose some things like the messages right then what you need to do is to set your ipad in the airplane mode and turn the bluetooth and wi-fi off then go to your settings and change the date to one year into the future from the real date so you just have to do that, right? Just make sure that you put it one year ahead, and then wait a minute or so. Make sure the iPad is awake. And when you then check the system data again, it should be lower. It is because the uh, system is going to trigger like a cleaning stuff. Uh, like, a, you know, this method, you can actually reduce the system data on the disk, right? So that's kind of how it should be. But then you can, of course, uh, just change the time back to the normal, turn off the airplane mode, and it should work. So let me know that if it worked for you, it's really an interesting method that has worked for a lot of people. So let me know your current situation. Most definitely subscribe for more. And I'm going to catch you later in the next tutorials.